to be here in Long Beach where Richard Pryor did his show 25 years ago and where I spent my 80s and 90s watching live in Long Beach is just phenomenal. You know, I'm ready. You know, I didn't look at any notes because I, I just think it's all in me and it's everything I've ever wanted to do and it's the right time for me and, and I could Watch not be more ready and more excited. Five, four, three, two, one, music. Must be successful. You can get Mexicans to get out of their chair. Ching out. Cause we never get up. No, I'm not gonna get up my feet. I can. I have so look at my veins are popping out. I can. I don't wanna stand up because they're gonna take my chair. I don't even belong here. What's up? I snuck a bottle in. Wait a minute. shit we do, we do in our front yard sitting down. You get like an old raggedy ass chair, you water the grass sitting down. <laughs> and when you want the water to go far, you go like this. <laughs> we'll never get out of the chair. Rape! Watch out, oh wow, look what. <laughs> we just moved to the corner, look what's going on. Mira, something's going on over there. Go see what's going on over there. The lady without the top was yelling, I don't know, <laughs> that she likes grapes or something. <laughs> hey, I just want to thank you guys for coming out, and this special is for all of you people and everybody watching at home and for Richard Pryor. All right, Richard Pryor. <laughs> Richard Pryor did a special here 25 years ago that I watched every day. And my grandmother would say, quita ese negro cochino. <laughs> ¿Por qué dice fuck you? Entonces, no, hombre, ese negro es... No, hombre, con los fuck yous, no? <laughs> and then she would tell you things that you didn't know. When I was young, I went out with a black guy, but he didn't talk like that. <laughs> he was nice. <laughs> Pero tenía el Winnie, wow. Sometimes at night I can still feel it when I'm sleeping. Me pega como un Charlie horse. And I walk like that, but I, it hurts and it feels good at the same time. Like when I was with him, los dos. You know, my grandmother, my grandmother's really the reason why I started to do stand-up. She's 84 now. Y'all thought you were worn out all my life. You know, and the one thing about old Mexican people is they never want to admit that they're getting old. Grandma, you should use your cane. No, I'm all right. Look at the way I'm all right. You can tell. I mean, I, you, I don't want nobody looking at me. That's why I cover my bone with my dress. Eighty-four years old, and she doesn't want to use the oxygen. She has oxygen now, me. I mean, I'm all right. I can breathe. <laughs> you ever seen a fish that jumped out of the bowl and he's laying down? <laughs> but when you fight, she's there. Tell it.
And with my grandmother, everything was no. Grandma, no! You don't even know what it is. Yeah, but I know what it's not. And you couldn't talk back now, kids talk back, you know, no, I won't, I won't. And the mothers, they, they don't even hit the kids. L listen, you t listen to here, Piper. I will not. Are you listening to me? Dakota, I'm talking to your sister, Piper. My grandmother, give me a putazo. Stand right here. Stand right here. Step. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I barely touch you. I bet. You can't even touch him because right away he starts crying. Why are you crying? My ear is bleeding. Look, it was bleeding before you got here. I didn't want to tell you. Why are you crying? That, that's all the moms would say. Mira, cabrón. Why are you crying? I barely touch you. I'm gonna hit you for real. Come over here. I'm gonna hit you for real. Mira. I... My grandma used to hit me, man, for all kinds. I want ice cream. You want ice cream? No. Ice cream makes me dizzy. Because, mira, if you want ice cream, cabrón, I got 31 flavors aquí, cabrón. You want some? One time when I was six, she backed into me with the car. She was back in a pang. I was a... And what did she say? Get out of the way! And they would try to bribe you to walk. Hey, you want to go to McDonald's? You want to go to McDonald's? Then walk right. You want to go to McDonald's? Then walk right. Walk right. Walk right. Look at Lego Twinkles. Mira, they don't let kids that walk like that into McDonald's. Walk right. Look at fucking show off. You can't even touch him with a car because right away, what's it? <laughs> and now that I grew up and I made it, she's all in denial. Oh, oh, I never hit you, liar. Oh, I, I can't believe that you tell that people I used to hit you. Mira, I'll get your hair and I'll pull it. I got arthritis, I can't grab you no more, pero. Because, you know, the, the fact that kids get hit now, my daughter's uh, almost eight, never been hit. Maybe once, my wife doesn't know, maybe once. <laughs> Just to see how it felt. <laughs> but only white mothers are ever arrested in America for beating their kids, fucking amateurs. <laughs> Amateur. Amateur. <laughs> they don't know how. They don't see the cameras, there's a hidden camera, you see the coat. Courtney, you get in the car. <laughs> Mexican mothers, mira cabrón, I know, I know the camera's there, what's up, yeah. <laughs> but they can't hear me, mira, when we get home, te va a dar un putazo. I'm gonna... <laughs> I can already feel it in my hand. I can feel it. I'm gonna come off the ground. I'm gonna hit you so hard. <laughs> they ever take you in the change room to beat your ass? No, I won't! Come on. Come on. All right, we're gonna go try this on, okay? Don't run! Don't run! Come on. Mira, don't run! Move your hand! Move your hand! Move your hand! Move your hand! Mira, you stepped on my corn, you fucker! Move your hand!
And then when you come out, how did everything go? It didn't fit. Come on, son of a bitch. Everything was no. Birthday party? No, get birthday party. Mira, cabrón. You got a lot of things already. You don't need a party. So as you can show off. No. Why are you crying now? No. Chuck E. Cheese. You want to see a mouse? Pull the refrigerator out. A fucking mouse back there. Pull it out. What's up by your feet? By your feet. You saw him? Happy birthday. You saw him? Why are you crying now? He went into the chair. You saw him? Those better be tears of joy. You saw him? And you know, the thing is that she would never buy hot dog buns. For whatever reason, no, I mean, está loco, hot dog buns, está loco. Get a piece of bread and fold it. Get a, get a piece of bread and fold it. Mira, it's the same shit. The same shit. Whenever she wanted to make a point, she said everything twice. Mira, cabrón. It's the same shit. The same, mira, Roman meal, sauce, hot dog bun. But she would always buy the Franks, you know, but you know, Mexicans don't call them Franks, they're white people. Uh, John, I think we should get some Franks. Get the ballpark because they plump when you cook them. Fantastic. What do Mexicans do? Hey, 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 fail, go get some weenies. Go get, <laughs> go get some weenies. Mira, get the weenies, the one that get fat when they get hot. Come here. <laughs> one time I had one and it got big. It reminded me of the negro when I was young. <laughs> I didn't even want to eat it. I just looked at it. I got it in the freezer, go look. When it was your birthday, that's what you got. Cut up weenies with scrambled egg and tomato sauce. Happy birthday. Happy, you didn't get a fucking bike. Happy birthday. And you couldn't talk back. So they would yell at you, mira cabrón, no! Means, get the, mira, get the hell out of here because right now, I got one strike, I got two to burn. If I were you, I'll get the hell. Get the hell. And you couldn't talk back. All we could do was this. You'd walk away and you'd walk to, talk to yourself. I can never do nothing. That's all we would do. I can't do nothing. I didn't hear you. I didn't say nothing. I'm gonna go get. I can't wait for her to die. I live in the streets. He thought, I don't care. E, man. And who I felt sorry for growing up, because my grandparents raised me tough, was the, the dogs that we had. Pinchy Mexican dogs. <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know, I got a chihuahua named Chico, and I got him from Upland, California, from a duplex. I found him in the paper. Puro, puro barrio. Barrio house, man. Duplex, dirt driveway, $450. I went in there, and I, I, I tried to pretend, you know, uh, you know, I just, regular dude walked in, the lady came, chancla. You ever seen ladies walk out of their slippers? They walk. <laughs> you want to see that dog? I mean, I follow him. With... I have rollers because I'm going out tomorrow night. <laughs> so I see Chico, he's black and white, and I wanted a Chihuahua, so $450, I buy him. So he goes from a duplex to Pebble Beach, Pacabal and Chigara got a house in Pebble Beach. I'm with you Pebble Beach, hombre. That fucking dog is luckier than me. But he barks, and Mexican, when you hear a dog bark, you tell, hey! There's nobody there. It's quiet. And since he's Mexican, he's Chihuahua. All right, but I'll be quiet, eh? If you don't want me to bark, when somebody comes in, I ain't gonna say shit, eh? I'm gonna be like... <laughs> you 
You want all the money? It's in the Nike box in the closet. <laughs> How come you didn't say nothing? Hey, every time I bark, you get mad. <laughs> Be like that. Be like that. Because that dog is the only dog we ever paid for. I never paid for a dog before. The way we got him was we sat in the front yard, <laughs> drinking on a Sunday, and a dog would go by. Mira, está bonito, wow, look. Did he have a collar? If he don't have a collar, get him when he comes back. Go get a weenie and get him. Tear it in pieces till he follows you in the backyard. Give me another weenie! And those dogs weren't like members of the family, like in white people's families, you know, they're pinching the Christmas card, the family. <laughs> I saw this lady at work that had a picture of her dog with a Christmas hat on, and his legs were open, pinchy huevos. <laughs> That's Biscuit, yeah, I can see. $3,200 bill from the vet. She was crying. <laughs> How could you put a price? He's like a member of the family. I put a price on his ass. <laughs> Our dogs, Mexican dog, when they would get sick, you would see them in the backyard, tortillados. You know? <laughs> With a fly in each eye. Mira, go, go give him some seven up. <laughs> put Vicks on his chest, put Vicks. Sana, sana, colita de rana. Look at, he's moving, he's moving. If the dog was really sick, we just took him for a ride, you know. <laughs> when it got dark, we took him for a ride. But we always took him to a better neighborhood. Mira, está bonito. Get him out right now. <laughs> All the cars are painted the same color. What's up? And then people would say, hey, what happened to your dog? He died while you saw him? You saw him? No, you didn't see him. He died. Dogs were just dogs. They never went to the vet. We never went to the doctor. You think the dog was going to go to the vet? Oh, it hurt. We will not go to the doctor. That's why, please, instruct your kids, teach them how to dial 911, because I know a lot of people probably left their kids with their moms and grandmothers. And I'll tell you this, older Mexican people aren't in the best physical condition. <laughs> Babysitting is this. Hey, be where I can see you. My uncle had a heart attack, and the only two people around were two three-year-olds. So he's all crouched up on the couch. I, I can't breathe. I, I, and they're and they're making fun of him. Deal. I, I can't breathe. 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 I, I can't even breathe. I, I can't even breathe. I. I can't even be I I got on. I can't even be I Go get your tea. We're not gonna laugh no more. We're not gonna laugh. Hey. Tell her I got a pain in my chest. And I can't breathe. Hey. Tell her. Tell her I got a pain in my chest. And I can breathe. And he's like this. <laughs> so your tia's outside talking to the lady under the house with the fence. And they already told you your whole life not to interrupt. So there you are. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, oh. Um, Grandpa told me to tell you that he wants the ice chest and beef. 
What? So they come in the house and there you are, todo tirado. Ay, what's the matter? Vieja. I got a pin in my chest. I can't breathe. So when you need them, all the shit that you've done wrong comes out. And now she's like, oh. You got a pain in your shoes, and you can breathe. Oh, so I'm not stupid no more, huh? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Say no. I can't hear you. No! Shut up. Don't yell at me. I'm right here. So now you need me. But before, you don't need nobody, right? You stay with me for the kids, huh? But now you got a pain in your chest and you can't breathe. And now I'm beautiful. I'm not fat no more, huh? I can't hear you. I'm not fat, huh? You got a pain in your chest. Don't fall asleep. Wake up. You got a pain in your chest. And can I can breathe. Yes, you can breathe. Hmm. Why don't you call that bitch you were dancing at the party with last night? <laughs> call that bitch. Call her. Call her. You got the number, cabron. I found it in your shoes. Fall, call her. Put the phone down. Put the, leave them like that. Leave them. Put the, don't get involved in my business, Raymond. Put the phone down. You don't know him. He's a faker. Leave him like that. You don't. He'll snap out of it. Turning blue. Bullshit. Leave him. Call 911. I don't want people to know my life. <laughs> Hardcore. But the best thing you could do is just remember the, the old days. I, I don't live in the future, man. I, I'm stuck in the past. I, I remember when things... Remember Thrifty Ice Cream? Ooh. Thrifty Ice Cream was the best ice cream in the world. You would go and you would ask your mom, Mom, can you buy me ice cream when I'm done? So then you had to follow her in the store. When I'm... Mira, cabrón, when I'm done. Behave yourself or else nothing. So then when you would leave, she would start walking to the door. Hey, wait, 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 <laughs> Okay, mira, here's 15 cents. Here, I'll wait for you in the car. And there was never anyone at the ice cream counter. <laughs> and from the parking lot, you hear boop. And the money would get hot in your hand. Can Ryan come to the ice cream counter, please? Ryan to the ice cream. Boop. Ryan, come to ice cream. Ryan, third time to ice cream. Ryan to the ice cream. Where are you, fucking Ryan? <laughs> and here comes Ryan, mas puto que hide. <laughs> Do you want ice cream? No, puto, I'm waiting for it to turn into Rite Aid. Of course I want ice cream. Stupid <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, most families talk about good shit. Well, I graduated from Stanford. And I was very successful law career. Mexicans, hey, tell me about that time I got electrocuted, eh? <laughs> tell her, hey. Tell her, what the? Tell her. Hey, so I was gay, my feet were wet, and I touched the wire. <laughs> and you know what, so I was gay? Hey, I got up, hey, I got up. <laughs> and I didn't spill my beer, watch out. Because, hey, because when the electric went through my body, 
My mind told my hand, hey, you got a Heineken, what the... I live, eh? I saw the light, but it was a van coming. Boom. You know why? Because we never hire an electrician. Mexican, we get shocked all the time. You plug in the lamp. <laughs> we all have a lamp that you've tried to throw away for 20 years. Pinche lampara todo rompido or something. You'll be driving to a neighborhood. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, look at mira, that throwing away a lamp. Está bonito. Oh my God, está bonito. Wow, mira. They don't have a cord, but it's nice, watcha? I can pretend to read, mira. Look at my eyes, pretending the light's on. And now I turn it on, watcha? So the lamp is always on. And it doesn't have a shade, it's just a bulb. And when the bulb burns out, you know, we don't know what kind of light. My grandfather was from Mexico. He put a halogen light. And I told him, Cuco, I don't fit. Como que no fit, cabrón, watcha? And you could hear the light. Ah, ah. Hold the bottom. Hold the bottom. Ah, ah. It's going to fit, mira. It's going to fit, you know? Ah, ah. And he turned it on, and that's what you're... The fucker, the roaches were good. They were holding hands to get out. The fucking antennas were seared. I'm blind. But you couldn't tell them anything. Como con el a hell I'm seeing that. <laughs> but the light was always on. Because you didn't have an alarm system in the house, so the light was the alarm. When you went to Las Vegas, hey, leave the light on so they think somebody's home. <laughs> and, and so, okay, put that radio low so that way they... They see the light and they hear the radio. They know, oh, somebody's home, but they don't like the radio loud. So the light was always on. And then the bulb is about 2,000 degrees because it's never turned off. So you lean in. Now you got a round circle dot and it smells like carne in that room. Hey, save me some. <laughs> Remember that one? Save me some. Hey, what are you guys eating? Save me some. <laughs> what do you got there? Huh? Rice? Save me some. <laughs> so you're burnt, and then at the barbecue on Sunday, your grandma, hey, cabrón, come over here. What if I told you about tattoos? <laughs> what if I told you about tattoos? That you don't like them. That I don't like them. Y todavía you got a tattoo on your arm. The other arm, stupid. Who's Sylvania? Who's Sylvania? Don't tell me you don't know. Who's that bitch? Es una negra, Sylvania. That's a black name. That's a black name. Sylvania is nombre una negra. Don't tell me she's not black. It says fucking Watts right at your arm. It says 75 Watts. I don't know the street, but I know the town. And they raise us to be insecure. So when we grow up, we're, we're the wait for me people. You ever seen those? Hey, wait for me. <laughs> hey, 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 don't go, hey, don't go, hey. No, for real, hey, wait for me. 
You ever seen a Mexican without a jacket? That's because we're afraid to go get one. You're not going to wait for me. I don't need a jacket. I'm going to go. Don't wait for me. It's going to be cold. I don't need a jacket. If it gets cold, I'll go like this. What? Wait for me. Go get a jacket. Nah, because you're not going to wait for me. <laughs> Give me your car keys and I'll go. <laughs> and wait for me comes from the time we're kids because all your mom is yelling at you. Hey! Hurry up! Because we're not going to wait for you. Hurry up! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait for me! Oh, wait for me! Wait! 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 Come on, cagón, let's go, son of a bitch. You got all day to shit and you shit right before we leave. Let's go! How come you're late? Because Mr. Kaka had to go to the bathroom? Son of a bitch. I told him to shit outside. It's the same thing. The same thing. Thing. So when somebody travels by themselves, that that amazes me because Latinos don't go down don't go down the hall to get a blanket because the fucking cuckoo is in the closet. <laughs> go get a blanket. No, I'm not gonna go. It's dark. All Mexican people have a haunted room in their house. You have a two bedroom house. One room is fucking haunted. You got the living room, the master bedroom, and the goo goo. Goo goo. No! You ever run by and try to turn the light on when you're running? Look at that stupid ass. Turn that light on! I use my sweater as a blanket. <laughs> different people, totally different people. We say hello differently. <laughs> Do you know him? Fuck you, something like that. <laughs> From far away. <laughs> I'll give you and say hi, I went like that. You turned away before I came back up. <laughs> Wait for me, man. Wait for me. <laughs> Completely different. And the fact is that we are, when we have a relative that's, they call it special needs now. You know, I have a special needs child. The one thing about white people that I admire is they include them in the family. They bring them with them. Ron, come with us. This is my brother, Ron. I had a friend in high school that had a brother that was a special needs. They had him in the room in the back. And I went into the change one day and I saw him. Ah! And my friend told me, hey, don't tell nobody, eh? You didn't tell me. I didn't think you were gonna like me. <laughs> and if your special needs, they, they, they get around in a wheelchair, pinch electric, they're by themselves. <laughs> Five miles. <laughs> Us, we're in the driveway fighting. Push your cousin. Push your cousin. Why are you crying? Push your cousin. You should be happy your legs work out. Look at your cousin. With churro legs and he's not crying. Mira, he don't want to be seen. Now you walk like him. Mira. Because we will not go to the doctor. I have an aunt that coughs up blood. 
and she'll show you, look at me, who was coming out. I hurt. Look at I'm dying. I hurt. Look at all the Kleenex I got in my purse. Hurt. You should go to the doctor. No, they're gonna find something wrong. Hurt. I'd rather not know. When it's my time, it's my time. <laughs> because the one thing Mexican people never do is make a will. When somebody dies, you gotta get to that house to grab shit before someone else. <laughs> what did you get? All the good shit was gone, I got a lamp with no cord, I don't know what to do. All those shares were gone. All those shares. I told him to save me some. Because we will make up words that don't exist. Burley, you know Burley. You know Burley? I'll use it in a sentence. Hey, how long have you been here? Shit, we just barely got here. <laughs> and just everyone knows, hey, they barely, didn't you hear them? They barely got here. How about, I know, huh? I know, huh? Last night you were all fucked up. I know, huh? You ever been so drunk you started the car twice and they're ah, <laughs> ah, and you hear a knock. It's already on. <laughs> ah, I know, huh? You know, we're just totally opposites. One thing you have to understand about Latinos is that we're opposite of everyone else. And I'll tell you where I saw it. I was in a market and a guy was backing up and he was gonna hit a pole in a, in, a, in a Lexus SUV and a guy leaves his cart and runs, oh my God, hang on! Oh my God! Oh my God! Are your rear sensors not working? You almost hit this pole, oh my God! I ran 86 yards to stop you. I'd get that to an authorized Lexus dealer as soon as I can. He stopped the dude from hitting the pole because he saw it happening. Mexicans, you know what we would do? We would stand back, we were like this. Hey, watch what's gonna happen. <laughs> Did the flash come out? Did the flash come out? And he hit the pole, and bam, you start laughing. Palo! <laughs> Check him out, hey, look at his face, look at his face. <laughs> Check him out, hey, look at him. And what do you yell? Hey, I know somebody that can fix it, eh? Nobody can load up a car like an old school Mexican family. You could fit 17 people in a 76 Monte Carlo. Man, your cousin's not going, sit in the ashtray. So then I said, because I grew up, you know, and I said to my grandma, hey, grandma, maybe we should take two cars. Oilo, muy chingón, let's take two cars. Then don't go. Then don't go. Why don't we fill it up with gas también, para que vale chingar? ¿Qué pasó? He started talking about taking two cars. We're not going to a funeral, cabrón, we're going to the... And once you fix the house, that was it. Once you got in, the house was fixed. And we would never buy a house unless it had a lemon tree. Forget it. 
What do you think of the house? I don't like it because no tiene lemon tree. Where are the lemon? We all have a lemon tree. You ever throw shoes to get a lemon down? <laughs> Give me your sandals. Give me your sandals. Look, I like lemon in my menudo. Give me your sandal! <laughs> Give me the phone book. Give me the phone book. <laughs> where I live, you know, my neighbors have like a, they get it, they have a, they call it a harvest where they get the, the ones from Home Depot. And, Piper, do you like a Tangelo? <laughs> Did you Mexicans out there with the broom? <laughs> I'm tired, try it. <laughs> the way we get fruit is we don't go to the store. A guy comes to the street. Bah, bah, bah. Hey, you want some melons? You want some melons? Bah, bah, bah. You want some furniture? Bah, bah, bah. What about the dude on the bike that sells corn? He doesn't even have a horn. Elote! Seventy-five cents. A corn with butter, mayonnaise, chile, lemon, salt. Ponle chile, cabrón. You ever suck the thing when it's over? And... <laughs> Completely different thoughts you know we drink first of all we drink way too much hey i didn't say it was a bad thing put those relax we drink hey and still it's still talk i'm hurt that's scary when i was young what the hurt You go to a kid's party, there's more kegs than kids. <laughs> Fucking a two-year-old birthday, the two-year-old. <laughs> and right next to him, your grandma's pumping the cake. <laughs> I'm watching them, I'm watching them. The drink, man, because you know what? It makes you, hey, it changes you. All of a sudden, you start becoming more passionate. Sober, sober, nothing. Do you love me? Ah, uh, see, man. That's why I didn't want to bring you. How come you never tell me you love me? You know what, Sasuke? Fuck that, eh? I didn't come here to be quizzed. Do you love me? Hey, I'm here, ain't I? Where am I going? Where am I going? All my tools at your mom's house, I ain't going nowhere. Insecure, shit. But when you're drunk, it all comes out. First you get all topeo, you know. Babe, 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 babe. I love you, man. Hey, 
I love you. I, hey, ¿sabes qué? And I'm not crying, I'm frustrated. And don't leave because I'll kill you. Hey. You just, and when you're in love, I, your family won't tell you, you know, nothing. He hits her, hey, she's happy. He's got a nice car, mira, he takes you to work. She can take a couple of scrapes, no, mire. I told her to go like that. So that's why with Latino guys, especially because our moms, Treat us like, you know, we're princes, man. They carry us, you know, seven years old. No, he's seven. He can't walk. They put you down. Your fucking legs aren't even formed, yo. You're like a newborn pony. I told you he can't walk. He's seven. The women in the family do all the shit, and the boys don't do a fucking thing. So then when we grow up, we're detached emotionally because, you know, we're used to our mothers, man. Do you love me? Hey, don't be, hey, sabes que, hey, if you don't like it, hey. <laughs> Who took you to Red Lobster? <laughs> Did I use a coupon? All right then. <laughs> But now you see Latinas with white dudes, married and children, huh? Yeah, I can't blame them, shit, they want to be homeowners too, fuck. <laughs> you stay with us, you be renting your whole life. <laughs> I told you, when my mom dies, we get the house. That's why I don't work, I gotta be close by. What if she dies and I'm at work, how am I gonna get the house? And all the white dude has to do is bring over some good ass liquor, like some Crown Royal, and the mom, ay, mira, trajo Crown Royal, no, hombre. Mira, I don't know your name, but to me, you're Crown Royal. Sit in that chair. Sit in the good chair, Crown Royal. Ay, mira, está bonito. Throw yourself back. Throw yourself. The arm's broken, so throw yourself. And if you have to get out, get out sideways like that. But white women, because your aunts, oh no. Your aunts are like, ay, mira que trajo Jorge, why? Britney Spears, como se llama? And everything she has on, they make fun of. They just look for something. Look at that painted toes. Painted toes, that look. I could paint my toes too, bitch. I just don't have the baby nail. <laughs> It fell, I don't know what happened. And when you go, they charge you for 10, even if you don't have that baby nail. So I used to just paint the skin, but it looked bad. But from far away, you couldn't tell that it was skin. But up close, you could see it looked like sausage with red. And they love to dye their hair. One thing about Latinas now is now they have highlights. Vamos those highlights. Highlights. Watch out. Highlights. I had an aunt that was blonder than the blonde, I mean platinum. Darker than me. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 with platinum and black fucking eyebrows. <laughs> But in her mind, she was fine. When she was young, she was fine. But then she got older, she got fat. She was little already, but she was like 5'2", 240. <laughs> with jean shorts. <laughs> you know when the camel toe goes all the way from the front to the back? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dia, take off the shorts. I'm little. You're just jealous. What's that? Why? Because you're jealous? What's that? Why? What's that? Huh? Nombre. You're losing your appetite? What's that? And a halter top. <laughs> You know when your chichis are smaller than your stomach, that shit don't look right, does it? Look at chichis. But she thought everybody was jealous of her. Tia, cover yourself. Why? Are you jealous? What you? Look at how it shakes after I stop. And whenever she drank, she would dance by herself. <laughs> Baptism, aye, that's my son Rudy. <laughs> Rudy, turn it, Rudy, Rudy, why are you crying, Calderon? Turn it up! And every time she went to the bathroom, she would tuck her dress into her pantyhose. So now she's walking with all her nalgas hanging out her ass. That's my song, what's that? Yeah, we went to New York, what's that? And the thong wouldn't even be in the crack, fuck a thong. Nobody tell her, nobody tell her, nobody tell her. <laughs> dale, tía, dale! <laughs> and my grandmother would yell, Cochina, put that dog in the middle! <laughs> no, mama, because it hurts. <laughs> it feels like it's tearing me in half. Como me está rompiendo la panocha, ay! Like this, I can't dance, ay! But like this, mira, oh, nine. Plus, I don't want to get it dirty. My aunts were never sexual ladies. They didn't, first of all, they didn't look sexy. They were little, they were dark. You know, they wore slippers during the day, you know. You ever seen your aunt walk out of the slippers? She'd be walking, I don't. That one won't stay on. I gotta clip my nails, but it could. They all had a lot of kids, and you couldn't understand why, because they would <laughs> hate. But when they ate, they used to make ribs and they'd be in the backyard, you just see them. <laughs> put sauce, put sauce. <laughs> and my uncle would sit at the picnic table, throw it out. Hey, how come you don't do me like that? <laughs> and my aunts wouldn't even miss a beat. You know why, cabrón? Because this bone's hard. Why are you crying, huh? Why are you crying? Why that you're tired. No, I'm ready. Watch out. It's a totally different culture, and I don't give a shit how much money you make, you will always be who you are and always be where you come from. Nothing changes. Nothing changes, or nothing should change. You should always be, I don't give a fuck how much money you have. Be the way you were when you were growing up and you will always be fucking happy. But you know, in the old days, in the 70s, there were like nine Mexicans. 
There wasn't as many as there was now. There wasn't a phone book in Spanish. You know, there was like Channel 34, Pichi Alambre. <laughs> you would speak Spanish and the people, eh, ¿sabes qué? Eh, que está caliente. Oh my God, what's going on over there? <laughs> hey! You're not an Ensenada. Now, 39 million in the United States. 39 million. Million. And that, that can't be an exact figure because when you knock on our door, we never open it. If you knock, we hide. Who's that? Who's that bitch? Who's that bitch? Don't answer it, Gilbert. Don't answer it! From way across the other side of the house, you see the window move. With a little mirror. When you knock, we hide. And when you honk, we come running out. What kind of shit is that? You be sitting in the house, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, that's me. All the fast food restaurants, Latinos, everyone. Jack in the box. All Latinos. You have to speak Spanish to get a hamburger. I'm sorry. Is this Jack in the Box? <laughs> Can I kill you? You want some shit? <laughs> um, hi. Can I have a Jumbo Jack? Okay, you want a Jumbo Jack? <laughs> Jumbo Jack. I don't. I don't think there's a Y in Jack. Quiere queso? I'm sorry. Se quiere queso. I say, do you want a cheese? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, you want a guayaba muya con queso? You want papa frita? You want a french fry? Frame frying. Do you want a frame frying? <laughs> um, my friends are fine, thanks. <laughs> and this is how you throw them off. What kind of fountain drinks do you have? <laughs> Excuse me? What kind of fountain drinks do you have? <laughs> One minute, please. <laughs> Rudy, este vato me está diciendo fountain drink. What is it? What is? What it is? Fountain drink. What is it? What is? What is it? What it is? What is? No, what is, cabrón? What it is? Es soda. Es soda. Por qué no me dijo soda? He told me fountain drink like I'm a stupid. Why you no say soda, stupid? Son of a bitch. We got a soda, stupid.
We got a Coca, we got a Pepsi, we got a Fanta. You want horchata? You want horchata? I don't want to talk to the manager, I want something to drink. Tell horchata I want a large Pepsi. You like a spray? A spray. A spray. E S P A spray, a stupid. A spray. It's a totally, and we do things totally different. I mean, when we buy a house, we add on to the house, and we never hire an uh, uh, architect or a contractor. There was a dude that added a bathroom to, the, to his to house. He lives next door to me. He had a surveyor out there in an orange vest in the middle of the street with a tripod, and he's got the vest. <laughs> Jeremy, do you have 23.7 azimuth? Fantastic. <laughs> My grandfather added a bathroom to the house I grew up in. He just went out there with his boxers on. Donde? Tell me where. <laughs> tell me where, because the man's on his way. Tell me where. Well, go put a bra on and come out and tell me. <laughs> he would close one eye until he saw his nephew. Dale, dale, dale. Mas, ma, right there, cabrón, right there, stand right there. Mark it. <laughs> you go to Home Depot, you don't have measurements. Other guys got clipboards. We just go, how much drywall do you need? Watch out, wait a minute. What? <laughs> stand right there. Watch out, 10, nine, about four. ¿Sabes qué? About nine. Watch out, wait. Did I have these shoes on? No, hombre, how much? Well, how much rope do you need? Wait a minute. I need about 10 turns. About 10 turns. You know, I had to have the roof fixed on my house. And I, I, they said the insurance company sent me a check for $23,000. I cashed it. I started spending shit that day. I didn't know it was for the guy for the roof. <laughs> right away, so I'm going to buy everything. Like, How much are those? Hey, 500? Oh, really? <laughs> then the guy comes, oh, hi, I'm Ray the Roofer. Do you have my check that the insurance company? <laughs> that was yours? Wait a minute, eh? let me go back to Circuit City. I got a ticket. <laughs> so I hire a contractor for the first time in my life because back home, we just hired whoever wasn't working. <laughs> you know? So Ray the Roofer, I give him a check for $23,000. He disappears. 15 Mexicans show up at my house. I said, shit, I could have done that. <laughs> and they're, they're on the roof. They don't even have a ladder. They don't even have it. I don't know how they got on the road. They climbed the fence. <laughs> so they're all tied together with one rope. <laughs> and you can hear him on top. No me push his way. I got him. And one guy swinging off and getting lemons and coming back. <laughs> so they're on the roof and it's about 110 degrees. So I, I go get them water. I said, you know what? I can't leave my people out there saying, I was, you know, the water hose doesn't reach. I said, I better get them. <laughs> so I go to Costco, ching, I bring them Arrowhead, I got a little sport pot, I'll pull the top. <laughs> So I go home, nobody's on the roof, but the, the ropes are hanging. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> they fell off. <laughs> now I'm going to go in the backyard. They're going to be totirados. Señor, I <laughs> call night, Juan Juan. <laughs> so I go to the, the backyard, nobody. But I hear music. <laughs> With the bad bass speaker. <laughs> and then I hear. 
dun, 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 dun. And then you hear the song over, dun, dun. Nobody in the backyard. I go, all 15 dudes are in the calzones and they're swimming in my pool. <laughs> Drinking Bud Light. <laughs> so I'm standing in the doorway. And the guy goes, hey, jump in. The man's not home. When Latino people don't think you have shit, that's, that's what hurts. I can be mistaken for a valet by a white dude. I expect that shit. But when your own raza thinks that, you know, what time they close? I don't work here, fucker. But now with the show, people recognize where I go and they're very nice, you know. Oh my God. Oh my God, you're G-Lo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kelsey, it's G-Lo. It's the one we like, don't cry. But Mexican people are the hardest to convince because they don't believe anything. They first of, first of all, they look at you from far. Is that him, man? What's up? I thought you said he was fat, eh? If that's him, he's been hitting the pipa. He looks emancipated. Come on, they say, eh? That vato looks all emancipated, eh? So then they walk sideways. You ever seen cholos walk sideways? Watch out. Like a crab and shit. Hey, are you Joe Lopez, eh? Are you Joe Lopez? No, I'm George Lopez. See, fucking liar, that's not him. <laughs> and black people just look. They don't even move. They're... It's the best right now that, I'll tell you, with everybody here and this being filmed for Showtime, this is the best. Right now, this moment right now, it's the best. Right now. <clears throat> hey, it made all those years of growing up and swimming in the trash can because <laughs> They didn't want to give me 35 cents to go to the pool. You remember, remember? You remember? Remember swimming in the trash can? Every sentence. Hey, remember that time we went? You remember, remember? Remember all the time. Remember the first time that you went to Disneyland and you were like, chinga, what the? Mira, take a look around because we're not coming back. You better remember all of the things, the mouse and the lady mouse and the goofy one that looks like your tío Alberto. Dun, dun, dun. Look around. And you would have to lie about your age. Today you're five. I'm seven, then don't go. Then, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Then don't go. Mira, duck down, pretend, think five, mira, five, five. And the worst part when you went to Disneyland is all the shit you wanted, they told you they had at home. <laughs> I want apple juice, mira cabrón, we have it at the house. <laughs> you should have drank some before we left. Four dollars from pinche pedazo de apple juice, ¿está loco? <laughs> Drink water and pretend it's apple juice, mira, use your... You're in fantasy land, cabrón, use your fantasy. <laughs> So I wanted the ears that, that's, that embroider your name, George. 
That's what I wanted. So I follow my grandmother all day waiting for the right time, you know. So then when we start to leave, she's walking. Come on, you know, look, 10 o'clock, you're throwing us out. <laughs> Grandma, what, what do you want? Can you buy me a souvenir? A souvenir? <laughs> a souvenir. You didn't save your ticket? <laughs> That's a souvenir, mira. It has the time and the day. Why are you crying now? You lost it? What do you want? What hat? Get, get, pinchy. Get, get. What hat? What hat? The hat with the ears and they put your name. The hat, do they have hats here? In Disneyland, I didn't see the tinning hats. What, what, what? With the ears that come, I mean, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Your ears stick out more than the fucking hat. I'll get an eyebrow pencil and write Jorge, let's go. You're lucky we brought you, I want a souvenir. Está loco? There'll be nine kids and one churro. What kind of shit is that? Lick it and pass it. Lick it. Well, then fuck you then. Lick it and pass it. Take a bite and see what's going to happen. Lick it and pass it. There's no sugar? Watch out. Lick it and pass it. Hey, that might not be the way you grew up, but that's the way I grew up. You ever cut pants to make shorts? What I live? You don't remember? You remember? Folding them up so the white things wouldn't fly out. Swimming in your underwear. The white ones too, the tantarans. Tantaran! The Superman ones, tantaran! Tantaran! You get like a towel and a clothespin and you were like a superhero. Ta-ta-da! <laughs> Grandma, look at me! Ta-ta-da! Hey, ta-ta-da, one of your eggs popped out. Watch it. <laughs> Míralo. With an egg popped out. And when did you get hair? You know, in, in, uh, in my family, they never talked about like when you started to go through puberty. So when you started to get hair, you didn't know. You know, I was like, I cut on. Mira, God's punishing you. <laughs> Keep taking money out of my purse and see what's gonna happen. It's gonna grow all the way around. <laughs> take the money, take the money. Watch out what's gonna happen. Come out the back. <laughs> And they used to make us go to church when you're three. Look, no three-year-old. Look, I'm for church, but no three-year-old should go to church. First of all, you can't stay awake that long. <laughs> then they put you in that suit that you only wear to church. <laughs> with the shoes that ne you never break in because you only wear them on Sundays. You walk like that. And my grandmother wouldn't even watch the priest. She would watch me. Fall asleep and see what's gonna happen. Fall asleep. <laughs> Fall asleep, watch out. Fall asleep, I dare, I dare you. I already heard this. Mira, I'm here for you. And you be... I played Little League for 10 years, and my grandfather came to one game, right? He didn't even get out of the car. <laughs> and when I missed the ball, what did he do?
I hit a home run one, one year, and I turned around, and where was he? Like this. <laughs> what happened? You lost the ball? I'm not going to get you another one. Remember all that stuff, because that's one thing our kids don't have. They don't have history, man. They don't remember getting up and changing the TV. <laughs> Fucking kids sitting in the house. What about us? Hey, put on channel five. <laughs> Stand right here in case I don't like it. Stand right here. <laughs> what about using pliers to turn on the shower? You remember? You remember, remember? Remember all of that stuff, because once, once our kids grow up, first of all, they probably don't speak Spanish. You talk to me, tira la basura. Oh God, oh my God. That sounded like so Mexican. What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> and you know what? Allow them to dream. That's the most important thing. Is look, no one ever told me I could do shit with my life. They told me the opposite. That loco be a comedian. I'm fucking funnier than you. <laughs> whatever child you have, whatever age they are. Encourage them to do better than you and to go to school and to dream and become whatever they want. From the time, from the time I was 11 years old, the first time I saw Freddie Prinze, I wanted to be a comedian. 1973, the summer, July of 73. 31 years later, I got my own show on TV. Hey. Dream and dream big, because there's been three Latinos in the history of TV who have ever led a show. One is Desi Arnaz, one is Freddie Prinze.